Good day viewers, this is Mathematics with Dr. O.J. Uh, in this video, we shall discuss the remainder and factor theorem. Uh, we consider one example here. Find the quotient and remainder when x is power 4 plus 4x is power 3 plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 5 is divided by x squared plus 4x plus 4. So we recall, we recall that the polynomial p of x is equivalent to d of x multiplied by q of x plus r of x where you know d of x is a divisor q of x is the quotient that is the value you obtain after division and r of x is the remainder so in this video we shall solve this given example so as to determine the quotient and the remainder as requested so now we use a long division method here so the Function itself is x is power 4 plus 4x is power 3 plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 5. And the divisor is x squared plus 4x plus 4. So how do we go about this? Now, in the given function, the polynomial function, the degree of the polynomial given to us is 4. So 4 is the highest uh, the value of the unknown in the expression. So and the divisor has 2 as the highest degree. So what do we do? We now divide x to the power 4 by x to the power 2. So let's do that roughly. x to the power 4 by x to the power 2. So 2 we cancel through here. We have to be left with x to the power 2. Now we multiply x squared plus 4x plus 4 by 4 by x to the power 2. Okay? So multiply this by this. You have x squared as x squared as x to the power 4. Then plus times plus. You have plus x squared times 4x, that's 4x cubed. Then plus times plus there, plus x squared times 4, that's 4x squared. Okay? Now, we introduce a subtraction sign. By the time we introduce a subtraction sign here, it will affect all other signs on, in the expression. So this one become minus, this one become minus. So, x is power 4 minus x is power 4. That will cancel that. So, we'll be left with what? Plus 4x cubed minus 4x cubed, that's also cancelled. Because that will be 0. Then plus 3x squared minus 4x squared, that will be what? Minus x squared. Then you bring down the other two terms, minus 2x minus 5. Okay. Now, the highest degree here is 2. So we pick minus x squared and we divide it by x squared here. So minus x squared all over x squared. x squared will cancel x squared, so we left minus 1. That's minus 1, you know. Now, multiply x squared plus 4x plus 4 by minus 1. Minus 1 times x squared minus x squared. Minus 1 times plus 4x minus 4x. Minus 1 times plus 4 minus 4. We subtract as well. Okay, by the time we introduce the minus sign here, this one become plus. Okay, minus times plus again, minus times minus again plus. This one changes. And that's minus again plus. So you have to be careful here so that you don't make a mistake. You have to multiply the minus sign you are introducing here uh, by all the signs there. You multiply that, uh, those signs throughout by the minus sign you are introducing. So minus x squared plus x squared, this is cancelled. Minus 2x plus 4x, that is plus 2x. Okay. Then minus 5 plus 4, that is minus 1. Okay. So we are left with what? Plus 2x minus 1. Since you cannot divide 2x by x squared. Why? The degree of the function must be greater than the degree of the divisor. So the degree of our function here is 1. And the degree of the divisor here is 2. So we cannot divide further. In that case, our divisor now has given us uh, this as the remainder. And this as the quotient. So quotient now, q of x will be what? x squared minus 1 and you know the remainder r of x will be what 
plus 2x minus 1. So that is that about that. Kindly subscribe to my video channel. God bless you.